And I'm in a mist. It's like a mauvey purple red. Mm -hmm. That's more about this. Oh, backdrop seems to be mm -hmm. dark indigo color. The backdrop is indigo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as you're in this whole mess of colors, can you move? Not really. All right. So we're going to observe this place and see if any of that moves. See if any of these colors move around the you. The mist moves. Mm -hmm. It's like there's a breeze and they just move and... Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's getting a little darker. Mm -hmm. And are you observing this from above or below? How are you observing this? I feel like I'm just in it. You're in it. Very good. Do you feel like you have a physical body in this place? Take a look and see. I feel physical. All right. So I'd like for you to use your other senses to determine if you have a physical body. What's the first thing that comes into your mind? I feel like an orb. An orb, okay. So as an orb, does this orb have a color? It's like a shiny pearl. Mm -hmm, like a shiny pearl. And can this orb that you are move? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's floating. All right. So let's begin to float and see where you go. Allow yourself to drift through time and space. And tell me what you experience. I just went down a I keep going down a tunnel mm -hmm. of blue and green and mm -hmm. purple over and over. Mm -hmm. At what speed are you traveling? Is it fast or slow? It's fast. Mm -hmm. And you have all the ability to slow it down. So take your time in this tunnel. And let's see where it takes you. Like I'm in a really long wormhole. Mm -hmm. Does this wormhole change direction or is it straight? It's curvy. Curvy, very good. See if you can. It's kind of fun. Uh huh. See if you could spot something that looks interesting in this wormhole. It's just like a lot of electric colors mm -hmm. that pass. And as you pass these colors, do you feel that they have any consciousness? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's... Connect with them. Connect with the colors. What do you feel? Feels cozy. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Are there any colors that stand out more than others? The the green mm -hmm. is the emerald green pops a lot. Mm -hmm. How does that emerald green green make you feel? It just gives more light. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's continue on this journey and let's find the destination. I'd like for you to be at the end now. I'm in a very steady 
reddish mist. Mm -hmm. It's stagnant. See if you can move through this mist. It's like there's some gases coming through, like mm -hmm. greens and yellow gases. Mm -hmm. that It's like illuminating. It's almost like an aurora borealis. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So connect with your feelings. How does this feel? It doesn't feel like anything, really. Mm -hmm. Just there. All right. So let's see what happens next. What's beyond this mist? Black. Mm -hmm. You belong in that black. Feel it. It's very expansive. Mm -hmm. I think I might see some twinkles mm -hmm. way off to the left. All right. So I'd like for you now to focus on those twinkles. What are they? I think it's a constellation. Mm -hmm. Are those twinkles drawing you towards them? Not really. Mm -hmm. But I'm curious. All right. So you have the ability as energy to go anywhere. Allow yourself now to be in that place. Hey there now. Look around you. Where are you now? Uh, sitting right in the middle of all the constellations. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? I feel like I get to be a star like them. Mm -hmm. Take a look at yourself. Do you still look the same? Or have you changed? I'm almost like a little curled up roly poly buck. Mm hmm. But still kind of like a pearl, but a roly poly bug. Mm hmm. And as this roly poly bug, what is it doing out in this beautiful place? I think it just wants to play. <laughs> mm hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. So allow yourself now. So just go free and play. Let's see where you go. Where do you go to play? I think I'm trying to make friends with the stars. Mm -hmm. So connect your mind with the mind of the stars. They have consciousness. Connect with it. What do you get from the stars? They're happy. Mm -hmm. Do they want to play? I don't know if they really understand my play. Mm -hmm. So let's go to a place where they do understand your play. I'd like for you to close the scene and go through time and space to a place where they understand your play. <laughs> Be there now. I'm in a grassy field rolling around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my gnome is back. Mm -hmm. Describe it for me. I oh, just like a little pot belly gnome. I've seen him before. Mm -hmm. I let him kick me around like a little ball. Mm -hmm. And then when he comes running, I get up and I scramble and roll to another spot so he has to work a little harder. Mm -hmm. I think it's funny. He laughs too. Mm -hmm. The flowers twinkle. 
Do you play with the flowers? Oh, I think they're just observing. Mm -hmm. they, it's like watching a sport. Mm -hmm. So what happens next? Oh, my hand kicked me in the water. Mm -hmm. Where did he kick know. you to? I'm in the water. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's okay. Can you swim in the water? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? There's some grass down there in the water. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at it, but I'm going to crawl back out. Mm -hmm. Very good. And he's leaning over on his knees, his hands, and he's just looking at me and he's laughing. Mm -hmm. What does this little gnome look like? I think he's a typical little gnome. Mm -hmm. He's got clothes and hair and a beard, but he's got a really round nose and cheeks, real chubby and rosy, and his eyes are just really smiley mm -hmm. does he have a name this gnome uh, i don't know he must mm -hmm. is he your friend yeah mm -hmm. so let's see what else you do for fun i'd like for you now to close the scene and let's continue in the same place, looking for more fun. Be there now. Oh, I'm swirling up the tree like a screwdriver. Mm -hmm. On the outside, though, no hurt in the tree. I just like to roll around the rough edges of the tree. Mm -hmm. The bark. What do you do as, when you climb up in that tree? Well, I'm rolling around like I'm spinning. I like to roll. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I just want to feel the bark. How does that feel to you? Interesting. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's better than floating in the space. I can feel the tree. Mm -hmm. I think the tree's getting annoyed. So connect with the tree? And let's find out what the tree says to you. I think it's just getting annoyed because it's on, because the way I roll and the bark, it kind of gets itchy or irritated mm. and it can't scratch. So it's like, stop. Ah. It's like, okay, fine. That's not much fun, is it? Uh, not for the tree. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what do you do? Uh, I just stop on a limb and here and admire one of the leaves. It's nice and glossy and green and healthy. And do you do anything else? I, just, I open up and flip on my back and mm -hmm. just enjoy some of the sun rays coming through the canopy. Very good. So let's close that scene and let's go to the next significant scene in that lifetime when something important happens. Be there now. I'm crawling in the ground. Mm -hmm. I need to hide. What's happening? I'm not sure, but something's coming and it's... It's almost like it's scorching the ground. Mm -hmm. Everything has to hide and scorching. It's not like it's a fire, it's something. It's not natural. Mm -hmm. What happens next? I'm just, I'm down in the down next to the roots so I can hear her grumbling, like rumbling. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's happening on top anymore. I just, I wait down where it's 
cool and the soil's healthy. And you got the roots and the, the fungi on the roots and we just we're waiting. Mm -hmm. So let's accelerate the time. Move forward in time and space now to when the scorching is over. What happens next? The surface is dead. There's a little smoke here and there, but it's mostly ash. Mm -hmm. What's happened? I don't know, but... It's not healthy anymore. Mm -hmm. I think it's the whole planet's not healthy. I don't think I can stay because I stand out. I'm really shiny. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? What do you do next? I just... Popped off, rolled up, and shot into the sky. Mm -hmm. So as you leave that body behind, <clears throat> continue to go higher where you see that life from a different perspective. I'm still in the little, I'm still the little cynic or mm -hmm. roly-poly bug. Take a look at that planet. What happened? There's parts that are still on fire. Mm -hmm. From that perspective, what do you imagine uh, happened? I think it was attacked. Mm -hmm. That's sad. It's a nice place. It's a nice little place. Where do you go to next? Begin now to go drifting and floating through time and space to another time, another place that affected the lifetime of Natalie. Be there now. Look around you. Okay, this is weird. Where are you? I feel like I'm a dinosaur. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I, I'm like a big old lizard. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I'm, I got, like, I don't know, if, I don't know what you call it. It's kind of like if I got mad, I can puff something up around my neck to make me look bigger. Mm -hmm. What color are you? Look at your skin. I'm... I'm mostly like a golden yellow orange with mm -hmm. a little red and I think some black little polka dots. I've got really green eyes. Mm -hmm. Low to the ground. My scales are pretty smooth. They're kind of, kind of like a snake. It's mm -hmm. like smooth like that. Mm -hmm. But I got this thing up back behind my neck that I can puff up. Kind of like Queen Elizabeth with that funky ruffle thing around her neck. Mm -hmm. Do you feel male or female? I, th I think I feel female. Mm -hmm. And as you are in this place, do you feel low to the ground? Do you feel like you have your limbs on the ground? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm low. I, I got legs. I got four legs. Mm -hmm. I'm low. Mm -hmm. And look at your hands, the paw, the ones in front of you. What do they look like? 
They're like regular claw lizard mm -hmm. hands. All right. So let's find out a little bit about you. I'd like for you now to see yourself in the place that you call home. Be there now. Oh, it's like there's this little spot in the ground. Mm -hmm. It's like a little tunnel, a little cave. I think there's two chambers. Mm -hmm. And as you go into these, this place, is it a large place? Not terribly. Mm -hmm. It's just big enough to move around comfortably. Mm -hmm. And when you're in this place, are you by yourself? Are there others with you? Look around. I feel like there might be a nest in the second chamber. Let's find out. Allow yourself to see. Move towards the chamber. Yeah, I think I got a few babies. Mm -hmm. What do they look like? They look like me, but smaller. Mm -hmm. I think there's four. So connect with your emotions and tell me how you feel about these babies. I don't know if I really have emotion. Mm -hmm. So connect with your instinct. What does your instinct tell you about these babies? They're necessary. Mm -hmm. Babies are necessary to keep going. Mm -hmm. You don't have the babies, then you die off. Mm -hmm. it's, it's my job. So what is your job with these babies? What do you do for them? Make sure they're safe. Mm -hmm. and they have food and they're strong enough to we, once they, I think once they leave, they don't come back. Mm -hmm. They stay there until they're strong enough to go. Very good. So now that we know that you have a nest, I'd like for you to close the scene and move forward to another important day in the life of this dinosaur. Be there now. I think the volcanoes are up there. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Yeah, the ground moves a lot. Animals, dinosaurs, big ones. Mm -hmm. Gotta move. And Is this volcano close to you or far away? It's close. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just looking at it because I don't think you can really run. I can't run fast anyways. Mm -hmm. Big ones can, but you got to get out of their way because they're not going to see. They're going to step on me. Mm -hmm. So are you alone? Or are your babies with you? No, it's just me. Mm -hmm. So what happens? What happens with a volcano? It just keeps erupting. Mm -hmm. It's throwing a lot of rocks. There's a lot of fire. Ground moves. Uh, what happens next? Something just flew over the volcano. Mm -hmm. What flew over the volcano? Uh, it looked like a large gray pointy shard mm -hmm. what do you imagine that is i don't know what that is mm -hmm. what does this shard do over the volcano oh it just went over it fast mm -hmm. and left let's see what happens next allow the scene to continue and see what happens. There's, there's a lot of lava. I can't really go anywhere. Mm -hmm. 
You step in it, you'll burn. I know I'm gonna die in it, but I don't. I don't want to jump in. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to detach yourself from that body and just watch it like an observer, and see what happens. I I slipped on one of the higher rocks. I fell in. Mm -hmm. I burned pretty fast. It was fast. So allow your spirit to leave that body, drifting and floating away from that body. And as you look back at that lifetime, each lifetime has lessons and purposes. What do you imagine the purpose of that lifetime was? Detachment. Mm -hmm. Were you able to detach from that life? Did you learn? I think so. I think I've always had it. Mm -hmm. Did you learn any lessons in that life? Uh, yeah. I want to. I want to say. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of when my daughter was born. Mm -hmm. I knew she was my daughter to care for, but she wasn't mine. Mm -hmm. And I was okay with that. Very Just good. there to prepare. Very good. So allow yourself to detach from that lifetime. And let's go drifting and floating through time and space to another lifetime that has a theme. A theme that is coming back into this lifetime of Natalie. Find that memory of that life and be there now. Let's... I, Where are you? I feel like I'm in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What's happening? I think I'm going to be hung as a witch. <laughs> What's going on around you? People are just so scared that they have to go after anything different. There's a lot of hardship in the village. They just hunt. They need scapegoats. Mm -hmm. Are you a scapegoat? I think I am. Mm -hmm. So let's find out how you got to this point. We're going to close that scene and go back in time to find out a little bit about your life and how this occurred. I'm going to count from three back to one and we'll see your life before this moment. Three, two, and one. Be there now. Where are you? I'm in my cottage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm like, I'm like a wise woman in the village. Mm -hmm. How old are you? Oh, I feel like I'm 54, mm -hmm. but I could be 74. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So I'd like for you to listen for your name. What do they call you? I want to say it's either Hagatha or Agatha. Mm -hmm. When I, I say the name Agatha, does that sound good to you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So let's find out, Agatha. What you do in that cottage? I'd like for you to look around that cottage and see how you spend your day. I make tinctures, mm -hmm. compounds. I make little satchels. Mm -hmm. I, I work with the plants and the herbs and I learned it from my mom mm -hmm. and, her, and her mom and I think, I think we're of Germanic descent, mm -hmm. I think. It's just something we always do because mm -hmm. we know what works and I've worked extra hard here because there's different medicines. Mm -hmm. And what do you do with these tinctures and compounds and satchels? What do you do with them? When people need helping and mending and sickness and illness, they, they come to me. Mm -hmm. I'm who they had before the doctor came. Mm -hmm. The doctor and the doctor and the church, they change things mm -hmm. and, and things got hard. All right. So let's now close this scene and now let's go to the next scene in that lifetime when something important happens, when things begin to change. Be there now. Oh, jeez. It's just... Where are you? I live relatively near a creek. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of large frogs after spawning. They come up in the area because I have hogs. And when the slop, it gets wet, so frogs come close. Mm -hmm. And people just associated that as bad. They decided that I was doing bad things. What happens next? See the scene unfold. Uh, there's, there's a mob coming to my fence line. And they're very angry. I know what's going to happen. I'm not too upset because I'm old and I don't have any family with me. Mm -hmm. I'm just sad that they're so ignorant. They're only hurting themselves. That's what I get sad. Mm -hmm. I'm not scared for me. It's going to get so much worse for them. My doctor doesn't know what he's doing. So you understand if you're not there, they won't have anyone to help them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a few. There's a few with a little knowledge. Mm -hmm. But I already know what's going to go down. And they're going to lose it. They're going to lose. They're going to lose their knowledge. Mm -hmm. So close that scene now. Let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. See it as an observer. See it from beyond. What happens next? The crowd is riled. I'm on a platform. They're going to hang me. <sighs> they want me to repent. They want me to admit. All based off of frogs. Mm -hmm. 
I can't admit it wouldn't make a difference anyways. Mm-hmm. They're just so scared of what they can't control. So as you're there, what are the things going through your mind? I guess my cat. Mm -hmm. I don't know where he's going to go. He's not treated like other cats. Mm -hmm. He's my companion. Most people don't treat cats like companions. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to look deep into the soul of that cat and see if that cat is in the lifetime of Natalie now. I think it was my old cat, Kiva. Mm -hmm. Understand? What was the reason for that connection once again? Well, Kiva was a good kitty, too. Mm -hmm. Just companionship. Mm -hmm. Liberty. They were both allowed to go in and out and do what they want. They used up their lives, though. So let's now disconnect from that lifetime, understanding the end of that life. And as you disconnect, let's see where it is that your spirit goes. Where do you go when you leave that body? What happens next? I feel like I'm in an open air temple of mm -hmm. white alabaster. Are you by yourself? Or are there others with you? I think there's some others. Mm -hmm. Take a moment and adjust to your surroundings. And describe them for me. Very large columns hold up. It's hard to tell if there's a roof. It's very tall. Mm -hmm. You can fit a giant in there. Mm -hmm. They're all just kind of, there's a really nice breeze coming through all the columns. I think there is a round, it's like a little round reflection pool. Mm -hmm. Is there anything in that pool? Whatever you see is mm -hmm. in the pool. So take a look at yourself in that pool. What do you see? I look like a girl in her 20s. Mm -hmm. I have curly auburn hair. It's hard to tell my eye color. I don't know if it's blue or green. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing really simple white, gauzy, drapey dress mm -hmm. with like a gold belt. Mm -hmm. Very simple. Let's find out what it is that you're doing in this beautiful place. What do you do here? I think it's a temple. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Where do you go? I think I'm learning. I think I 
think I'm an apprentice. Mm -hmm. Very good. So allow yourself now to go to the place that you go to learn. There's a little room connected towards the what direction is that? I think it's the north direction. Mm -hmm. Which is funny because there's a small fire pit up there. You know that? Oh, I think it's there because that's the cold direction, but fire's in the south direction. But that's the direction because that's the library. Mm -hmm. And I like to sit on the, st on the steps. What does this place look like? Describe it for me. It's a little more closed in. It still has the pillars. It's not as tall anymore. It's a shorter, it's like a rotunda. It's round. So you leave this long hall open temple space where giants can fit, but you keep going and you walk up maybe five, six steps and you're in this small little rotunda room. That's maybe 20, no, maybe 10 meters diameter. Mm -hmm. The fire is raised in the center of that, and there's about three or four wooden armchairs, scrolled armchairs, but simple wood. I don't like sitting in them, though. I like to sit on the alabaster. Mm -hmm. And I read a book. What do these books look like? There's all different kinds. Different kinds of leather, mm -hmm. different sizes, some are scrolls. Mm -hmm. It's not a huge library, but it's got a lot. So what is it that you're learning today? What is the lesson for today? I think it's alchemy. Mm. So let's find that book. Find that book. And describe it for me. It has a yellow golden leather cover kind of feels the texture's a little little pumpy it's hard it's I don't know what kind of leather it is it's almost like it's a snake skin but it's not snake skin mm -hmm. it's smooth yeah, mm -hmm. but it's not even bumpy everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's not an ostrich either. It's kind of in between. I don't know what it is. And is this a normal book? Does it open in a certain way? No, I pulled it off the shelf. All right. Does it have a title on it? I think so. It's like four or five characters. Mm -hmm. What do these characters look like? Um, I could be wrong, but they almost look like runes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're runes. So knowing this knowledge from this place, read the title of the book. What does it say? I don't know. Use your knowing. Use your knowing now. Interpret it with that language. You'll know what it is. All I get is forbidden. Mm. That's all I'm getting. So as you look at that book, and it says forbidden, what do you receive from it? Are you allowed 
to read what's in this book? I am allowed. Mm -hmm. Just, I don't think by myself. All right. So let's find out if this book needs to be read with someone else. Connect with that that needs to guide you. Yeah, there's a priestess there reading from the book. Mm -hmm. So I, I think there's another, another girl apprentice. She has dark brown hair. Mm -hmm. I think we're both there listening and learning, but she's started after me. So I'm higher on the apprentice level, but not to function 100% on my own. Mm -hmm. So let's listen to what the priestess is saying, absorb the information, and tell me what this lesson is about. What are you learning? Describe it's a combination. Mm -hmm. Seeing mist come off the pages. Mm -hmm. What is the mist all about? It's a part of the scene in preparation for when the generals and the military go to war what we see, what we're allowed to reveal, what we must keep concealed, and how to best guide them, but allow their free will to make their final decisions. Mm -hmm. They think we give them exactness. We're not allowed to give them exactness. We give exactness, then we alone are altering and we're not allowed to alter. Mm -hmm. We guide. So, who is it that you're guiding? I'm not allowed to guide myself yet. Mm. Who is the priestess guiding? Yeah, they're they're Greek, but they're not. They're not Macedonian. They're not Greek. They are Greek, but they're a different part of Greece. Mm -hmm. It's the the lead. Mm -hmm. he's, no, he's not the. He's he's the, like a king general or a king. He, he, he's leading his army. Mm -hmm. He's responsible. He needs guidance. So she instructs. Very good. And what is it that you're learning from her? What is this apprenticeship all about? Discernment. Mm -hmm. Patience and discernment. Looking for subtle cues. Okay, so she, okay, so she has knowledge and she can relay as much as his cues permit. She reads his body language, his tone, the minutiae in his behaviors and in his inquiries so she knows how to and what to give because if he's not wise enough she could be giving the wrong information that could be very destructive so discernment 
Yeah. So are you being trained to do this also? Yes. Mm -hmm. Who will you be guiding? Do you know that yet? No. no. I'm still somewhat young. All right. So let's find out what happens next. I'd like for you to close that scene and let's now go to the next important lesson in the School of Learning. Be there now. Where are you? I'm at the temple and there's Romans coming. The Roman, we already know. I'm wondering if this is the temple of Hestia. Her name keeps coming up. Mm -hmm. Feel it. You'll know it is. What happens? Well, the Romans are not going to destroy the temple. And they're not going to defile or harm me. Or what is her name? The other girl still with me. She has brown hair. Mm -hmm. I'm going to touch your third eye and bring that information up. See it. Know it. Her name starts with a C. Mm -hmm. But I don't see the think... letters. See the letters before you. Spell it C out. C A X A is all I get. Very good. Caxa? Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's right. That doesn't seem entirely right. Because we spell with K's. Mm -hmm. What happens next? The Romans have taken over large sections of the land. They're holding the temple. They, they respect temples. They do. But now we're under new rulership. Mm -hmm. They say that they come, that, you know, they're f the freedom republic. We were free. We did have liberties. We did have freedom. But they want to impose their version of freedom. All you can do is adapt. How does that make you feel, this new leadership? It's annoying. Mm -hmm. You don't understand the the delicate ripples that they've torn. Yeah, they did. They it's like they tear their their way through, and they don't know it. Mm -hmm. How is that affecting you? <clears throat> Besides annoying. I have to adapt. All right. I have to evolve. Very good. So let's close the scene and let's see what happens next. The next significant event in that lifetime. Be there now. I'm on my hands and knees looking in the scrying pool. Mm -hmm. What do you see? I feel like I'm crying. Mm -hmm. I think I'm, I'm praying mm -hmm. into the pool. What's happened? I think they took the library. I think they took the library and they want to 
change who the temple is dedicated to, I think. Mm-hmm. But it's 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 a f- false reality. Uh, at least that's how I feel. I feel it's they defamed what I felt was sacred, what I knew was mm-hmm. sacred. But it's also tearing up the villages and the it's confusing. People are confused. Anything else important in that scene? I have grayer hair now. Uh-huh. I don't I look a little older, but my hair is more gray. Has your status changed in that temple? Yeah, I was the priestess when the Romans came. Mm -hmm. My mentor, she she passed a long time ago. So that you, you were the priestess? How does that change your role now without the authority that you had before? I'm still a priestess, Mm -hmm. and I was well equipped when the Romans came. Of course, you always doubt, because your mentor always looks far more confident, far more skilled with experience. Mm -hmm. I guess this is my experience. Very good. Let's close this scene and go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Be there now. Where are you? There's parts surrounding that are burning. I can see it from the, the temple's high. It's relatively high. So I can see a lot of burning. And I'm just old. And I'm, I'm just, I don't want to, f- I don't want to put the energy in. The, Ro- the Romans don't get it. They don't get it. My time has passed, so I'm just, Are you alone? Are there others with you there? Uh, The other priestess that's coming up behind me, she's she's going to take over. Mm -hmm. Looks like there's another young one behind her. It appears there's always three of us. Mm -hmm. Do you give them any advice before you go? I don't think I need to. I feel like at least half of our training is always observing and picking up the nuances. Mm -hmm. So you just, you don't have to speak everything. Words are selected very carefully because they hold information beyond the word itself. And even the way you arrange the words. So that's why at least half your language should be from, or no, half your training should be at least from observing. Because sometimes it's just the scuff of the skirt across the plant on the ground It just gave you some information. Mm -hmm. Very good. So take your last breath in that lifetime. Detaching yourself from that body. And as spirit, 
I'd like for you to return once again to the place where your guides reside. The place where you will be planning the lifetime of Natalie. Be there now. Uh, I feel like I'm in outer space, mm -hmm. standing on a very large circular disc. Mm -hmm. Are you alone on this disc? Or are there others with you? <sighs> Looks like there's three others mm -hmm. sitting at a half circle desk or table. Kind of interesting because they don't necessarily. Well, one kind of looks human, but the other's not really. What do they look like? They kind of remind me of amphibians. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to connect with the minds and souls of these, and let's find out who they are. T, R, and X pop up those letters. Mm -hmm. uh, what do those letters mean? I don't know. Maybe one of their names or mm -hmm. maybe a letter for each of their names. I don't know. So let's connect with them and let's find what it is that you're doing in this place. Um, being evaluated. Uh -huh. For what purpose? How I did as a priestess. Mm -hmm. What do they say? They said I did well. How do you feel about that lifetime? I liked it. It was really nice for the most part. I could study. Mm -hmm. Study and learn. And each day was its own. Mm -hmm. There were no pressures, minus the one you put on yourself. Um, Do they give you any advice or any information? They tell me I'll have to work with magic and alchemy again, but not soon. I get a break. Because mm -hmm. it takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of discipline. Is this your specialty? Alchemy and magic? Seems like I've done it before. Mm -hmm. I have memories of before, but it always scares me. This time I wasn't scared, but it's intense. Mm -hmm. So let's now talk with your guides about the planning of Natalie's life. Let's listen to see what it is that the entity named Natalie will be doing in the lifetime. What's her purpose? Like a bouncy ball. Mm -hmm. Bouncy ball that likes to twirl and spin. Mm -hmm. And sprinkle, mm -hmm. <laughs> just, <laughs> just floating in the wind, mm -hmm. and life gets in the way. Kind of like a roly poly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Just simple. And by being this bouncy ball in the lifetime of Natalie, how will that contribute to the whole of the earth? Just lighten it up. Mm -hmm. It's heavy. Gosh, it's so heavy. But yeah, just to lighten it up. So just by being on Earth, she's there to lighten it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pe people need to smile more. Or I, I'm not going to say need. Mm-hmm. It would benefit them to smile because that releases these little endorphins that is unconscious and then you can't, you do it enough, you can't help but just get a little lighter. And what happens when this entity named Natalie gets exposed to negative forces? <coughs> I think it's like exercising a muscle. Mm -hmm. it's, it's recognizing. She 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 doesn't fear them. Mm -hmm. She just recognizes them and makes a choice, and they need to go, but they keep coming back. Mm -hmm. Is there a gift? that she brings with her on this in this lifetime that could assist with these negative forces. She's kind of it. She's the mojo back. Mm -hmm. They don't ever this is the interesting part. They don't ever force. They try to trick. Mm -hmm. There's tricksters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they come very politely. Always politely. But there's just always a little something that somehow gives it away. Mm -hmm. So these dark forces, could they possibly be part of her bouncing ball through life? Does she need the contrast in order to bounce? Maybe. Let's find out. What would life be without this bouncing ball, without any contrast? Void. Mm. It would just be a void. It would be flat, mm -hmm. like cardboard. So is she using some of these forces to bounce off of? I don't know. Take a look and see. Let's go deeper. Deeper and deeper. And let's find out. I th think she needs the memory of the balance. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she used to be one of the dark ones. And she found her way out, they want her back. Let's find out. Would you be willing to take her down that memory lane to see? Yeah. All right. I'm going to count from five back to one. When I get to number one, let's show her if she has anything in her past, in her present or future, in that negative force five going through time and space four three two and one be there now what do you see i feel like i'm in the earth It's dark in there. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they're called, but they remind me of like 
gremlins. Mm -hmm. Let's find out <clears throat> what history it is there. And they eat roots of the mm -hmm. trees. They kill trees, they eat the tree roots. Mm -hmm. I mean, I understand they need to eat. They need to survive like everybody else, but they're killing the trees. They eat the roots. They're nasty to each other. Mm -hmm. There's no empathy. Let's find out if one of these gremlins has anything to do with the lifetime of Natalie. Is she in that mix? Maybe. Go deeper in. It feels like one's attached to the left shoulder, though. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. They got these little claws, and they just like, it's like a monkey on your back. Is one of these gremlins attached to her shoulder? So, yeah. All right. Let's find out who this gremlin is. I'm going to go ahead and put my hand over that area and bring that energy up. Up, 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 up. Good evening. You there on her shoulder. Who are you? <laughs> Do you have a name I could call you? Not really. Hmm. Can I call you Gremlin? I don't care. So, Grammy, what are you doing on her shoulder? I like it. She doesn't seem like a tree root to me. Why are you feasting off of her shoulder? Because she is a tree. Ah. She's a tree. She's my tree. How is it that you felt that this is her, your tree? Where did this begin? I don't know. Has she always been your tree? Yes. Has she been in her, to your tree in this body? Or a different body? I don't know what you mean by body. She's a tree. Oh, she's not a tree. She's a human being. I think you've mistaken yourself. Grammy with a body with a tree. You see, she has no roots. She has no leaves. She's a human. But she takes me to other trees. Ah, I see. So you're using her as a transport. Is that what you do? Yeah. And what? See, I, I don't think I like where this is going. Mm. Why don't you like where this is going? Because I'm not done with Ruth. Ah. What do you do with this tree? I bring bugs on it. Mm-hmm. What else do you do? I just... I like its energy. Mm-hmm. Do you gnaw away at her energy? I scrape away and then I take yeah, it's not all at once. You gotta save her. Mm-hmm. So what is it that she feels when you do this to her? What does she feel? Aches. Mm-hmm. Confusion. Mm-hmm. She gets real tight. Mm hmm And how does that make you feel? Like I'm attached. Mm-hmm. Grammy, she's no tree. Why is it that you attach to her? Because she's just like a tree. Ah. She connects with other trees. Mm-hmm. She's deeply rooted, is that it? Yeah, but she's mobile. Ah. So she's a mobile tree, something that others are not. 
Remy, why is it that you can't move without her? Because I need a tree. This is my tree. Nobody else has found the tree. I'm not giving up the tree. Mm. Because others, they share the trees as my tree. Okay. Well, we'll find out if this is your tree or not. You see, Grammy, this is a free will planet. And everyone is sovereign on this planet. And we're going to ask now if this is truly your tree. Natalie, speak with Grammy. <sighs> yeah, it's time for Grammy to go. I'm not a tree. Tell Grammy. I'm not a tree. I'm not a tree. I'm not wood. I'm not a tree. Do you give authority for Grammy to be on top no. of you? No. Do you give him any authority to nibble away at your energy? No. No. Go ahead and tell him. You need to go. All right. Take a deep breath in. Remy, did you hear what she has to say? Yeah. Yeah. Which means, Grammy, that you need to go. I don't know where to go. We're going to help you. Grammy, who are those that assist you? Who are your guides? I don't know. I'm, it's just me. All right. So we're going to send you a guide, Grammy, because I think you need to go where you need to go. You need to go back to that dimension. Grammy? Yeah? Was there a time when there was something open that you walked through? Maybe. Mm -hmm. How old was she? She was, I think she was, she was little. She was little. So we're going to call somebody right now. Someone who opened up that space. We're going to call her dad. Taking a deep breath in. One, two, and three. Dad, good evening. Yeah. Take a look at your daughter. Take a look and see at this gremlin that has attached to her. Do you see it? Yeah. Do you recall, Dad, when you did something to allow this gremlin to attach to your daughter? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Only you can send them back. You brought him in. You need to release him. What do you want to tell Grammy? It's time to go. Mm-hmm. So, Dad, I'd like for you now to grab this little gremlin and take him through that portal. Take him back to that dimension and that place where he belongs. Are you willing to do that, Dad? Yeah. All right. Let me speak with Grammy. Grammy, are you ready now to go back to that place being escorted? No. Why not? Because I like it. Hmm. Let's speak with Dad. Dad? What do you have to say to him? He's, yeah, you're going. Mm-hmm. Tell him why. Because you don't belong here. Mm-hmm. You need to go back to your kind. Very good. So I'm going to ask now for Natalie to bring in that light that will begin to detach Grimmy. Bring it in through that heart. Bring that light in. And I want you to begin to expand that light out. Expand it to every bit of your body. And I want that light to hit Grimmy, to remind Grimmy of who he really is. of his own kind. Keep sending it out. Make that light so bright that nothing can stick. 
Taking a deep breath in now, Grammy. How does that feel now? Does this feel like a tree anymore? No, it's too slick to hold on. It's too slick, that's right. Well, there's someone there waiting for you. Alex, go ahead and take this gremlin. Grammy, are you ready to go now? I have to. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Do you think you could hold on to this slippery thing here? I learn how. Mm -hmm. Natalie, keep sending that light. Keep sending that light. Blast Grammy with that light. Are you ready now, Grammy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell Natalie about all the things you've been doing to her? I don't know. What am I supposed to say? Are you, that you mistook her for a tree? Oh, well, yeah. Mm hmm. Are you ready now? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and begin detaching yourself completely, Grammy. And Natalie, I want you to go inside of you and cut away anything attaching this Kremlin to you. Cut any cords. Dissolve them. And Alex, I'd like for you to go ahead and take this Grammy into his own dimension where he belongs. And let me know when you're there. We're through. Very good. Grandma, may the light of the universe accompany you. Thank you. And now as you take a deep breath in, I'd like to once again speak with Dad. Dad, is there anything that you would like to tell your daughter at this time? Do you have any messages for her? I'm sorry about that time. I didn't know. I thought I was being clever. Mm-hmm. Take yeah. a deep breath in. Natalie, do you forgive your dad for not knowing any better? Always. Mm-hmm. Do you have anything to say to him? I love you and thank you for all you've taught me. Take a deep breath in, Dad. What do you have to say to her? The same thing here. Mm -hmm. Dad, I want you to take a look at her life. Is there anyone who is guiding her at this time? Who else is here? I'm not familiar. Mm -hmm. Does she have guides? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think she has three. Very good. Very good. Is there anything else you would like to tell her? Keep up the good work. Very good. Thank you very much. And now, allow yourself, Natalie, to disconnect. Disconnect completely. Taking a look at that body. And I'd like to ask my assistant, Archangel Raphael, to go ahead and begin putting that beautiful green light into that body. Feel the light as it flows. Healing and sealing. Or this gremlin was attached, sucking away at the energy. And now I'd like to ask, why is it that Natalie has never felt like she's belonged? Where is she from? I don't know where she's from. Mm -hmm. We saw her as a roly-poly in space, visiting a planet that was burned up. We saw her in 
Greek and Roman times, we saw her as a witch, or what they called a witch, the alchemist who was mistaken. Where does she originate from? She's old. Mm -hmm. She's. I'm not sure, but I think her first was that primordial alien. Mm -hmm. That planet died. She knows it. She saw herself once in an aggression, in a regression as a extraterrestrial, as a little alien being. Yeah. What was that about? The planet was dying. Mm-hmm. And she didn't want to go because she knew she could never return. Mm-hmm. The planet was being pummeled with comets. Mm-hmm. I think she was an ecologist. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think this was a long time ago, before before Gaia mm -hmm. was even created. So, so in the lifetimes that she's living, is she always doing the similar things? think so. Mm -hmm. So what is her greatest gift that she brings from all of these lifetimes? She really doesn't have any fear. Mm -hmm. She thinks she does in the smallest, most useless way. Mm -hmm. But if it if it needs to be done, she'll do it regardless of the consequence. Mm -hmm. So right now she's at a point where she would like to do something new. She wants to be able to fulfill her purpose. What should she be doing? She can really choose anything. She can choose anything. She was thinking of writing, but she hasn't really followed through. That's one of her in tiny insignificant fears mm -hmm. is failing at writing because it's so personal. Mm -hmm. But the information's there. Mm -hmm. What should she be writing about? The other realms. Mm -hmm. So who can help her with this? Does she have a guide? She does. I don't know if how this is now this makes animals come. Mm -hmm. She has seen numerous animals and she sees them more than anything. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if they shape shift into that. Let's find out. I think they do. Mm -hmm. I think that's why she says if she could have a superpower, she'd be a shapeshifter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because then she can go anywhere and do anything. So these guides that come to her shapeshift into animals? She had one earlier today, a little rabbit. Mm -hmm. Bright white third eye. Was what was the significance of her seeing that? I think it was Ostra. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. 
So let's connect with someone who would. Let's go deeper and deeper to sleep and let's connect with someone who does know the answers. Seeing the information clear and connecting now at full capacity, allowing the information to flow in both directions from all of the guides and higher self. As we connect even stronger, let's find out a little bit about the history that has brought her now to where she is and how she can use that into her future. What does Natalie need to know? made up of she's made up of the earth mm -hmm. since since the creation she's taken turns at so many different elements Yeah, a lot of, she loves the nature part. Mm -hmm. It's just, it never stops to amaze. Mm -hmm. I think the reason why it doesn't stop to amaze is because she feels it. Mm -hmm. She's even thinking of living like a gypsy on the road. Should she be moving? That's a tricky one. Mm -hmm. At a time that would work perfectly, but I genuinely don't know right now with the current construct. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So if she were to choose to stay where she is now. Let's look into the future, project it out, and see if this would be a good way for her to find the career and her calling. Feel it out. How does that feel? She could get a great garden going on our property. Mm -hmm. She needs to keep working on Ruth. Can't give up on Ruth. Mm -hmm. So now let's look down the other path of her moving out of that location, going to a different place. Let's feel that location out and see how that feels to uproot herself and move to a different place. She doesn't mind uprooting. She doesn't really have roots. Mm -hmm. Project out and see how that feels. A new direction. The direction feels southwest. Mm -hmm. Four corner state. Mm -hmm. So zoom in a little bit closer. Allow her to see what would be the best place. Zoom it in. It's near the four corners. Mm -hmm. It's hard to tell. Very good. Can I ask for a guide to assist her in making the decision? Mm -hmm. Very good. Who are her guides now? Trust 
Joseph. Mm-hmm. What is Joseph's mm-hmm. primary role? He's both a guide and protects. Mm-hmm. Does Joseph have a message for her today? <laughs> Just says, book it up. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you still have it. Mm-hmm. Are there any other guides that work with Joseph? Yeah. One of them is female. I don't know her name. Mm -hmm. What is her role? She's more nurturing. Joseph is just... He's the kick in the butt Mm -hmm. one. And she's more patient and nurturing and... I guess hopeful. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. I guess... Yeah. Mm -hmm. She needs them both. Natalie's a little stubborn and she knows it. Mm -hmm. But she laughs at being stubborn so you can't get mad at her. (laughs) It's part of being a bouncing ball, isn't it? Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So she had a question about her health. What's causing all of these issues with her digestion? Genetics were were tweaked, mm-hmm. and she was in the womb. They were tweaked. Mm-hmm. Who tweaked it? The doctors unknowingly did. Mm-hmm. So, how has that been affecting her? This tweaking. throws off normal functions, Mm -hmm. really messed with her endocrine. Now we know that every day there are 30 billion cells that die and are regenerated. Can we begin to regenerate some cells? That would be helpful. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and give these cells new instructions. I'd like for you to go ahead and bring in that energy into your digestive system with a new program, a new program that we're going to access from before the tweaking occurred. I'd like for you to go through time and space and go back and find those cells inside the womb that were not tweaked. I'd like for you to take those cells and bring them back in a beam of light. Let's put those cells in a safe place inside your digestive system. Implant them as seeds. And let these seeds that are so new begin to give the new instructions. Mm, it's bile ducts, okay. Mm-hmm. What's happening as these seeds are taking root and expanding? The bile duct wasn't functioning right. Mm-hmm. It was, I guess, cramped most mm-hmm. of the time. So how does it look now? It'll take some work. Mm-hmm. Just try to relax it. So I'd like for the non-physical physicians to come in and begin working on that when she sleeps. Can I request that? <laughs> My tummy is growling. <laughs> mm-hmm. There's a lot of changes in there, isn't it?
So as the tummy is growling and starting to settle with the new cells, let's take a look at the joints, the ligaments, the nerves. What was affecting them? Was that Grammy? Mm, partially. Mm -hmm. What's the rest? It's like she walked through some sticky goo. Mm -hmm. What is the sticky goo? Let's find out. Go to the origin of the sticky goo. Where'd it come mm -hmm. from? I think I walked through something and I didn't know it. Mm -hmm. So this sticky goo, where is it affecting the body? It's almost like a suit. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what mm. that suit is. Does this belong to Natalie or belong to somebody else? What is that? I think it's its own entity. Mm -hmm. I think I walk through and it glows and it doesn't belong here mm -hmm. and it can't go anywhere else to survive. All right. So we're going to do something to connect with that sticky goo. We're going to transform it. So let's connect now with that sticky goo. I'm going to count from one to three and let's speak to it. One, two, and three. Good evening, goo. Mm. What is it that you are? I'm plasma. You're plasma. What is it that you do as plasma? I conduct energy. All right. Why are you connected to this entity named Natalie? Uh, I mean, where else to go? Mm -hmm. If you're here to conduct energy, perhaps we can transform you into something that can help the Earth. Would you like that? Like evolve? Mm -hmm. You can conduct energy in the trees. You can conduct energy in the clouds. As plasma, you may stick onto this body, but as energy, you can go anywhere. I'll we'll have to confer. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just the representative. All right, so let's find out who you confer with. Oh, there's many of us. Mm -hmm. And we all stick together. All right. Are they all stuck on Natalie? Yeah, we form a web. Mm -hmm. What do you do to this entity as a web? Mm. Do you assist her? Or do you hinder her? I think it's all in perspective. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what this web looks like. Is it holding her back at all? Mm, it might. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it might. Mm -hmm. It might. Well, you see, Plasma, she is an entity that is sovereign to herself. And without this web, she'd be able to progress, and you're holding her back. Are you willing to transform? So that this entity can live free. Confer with the others. We want to be soil. Very good. So I'd like for you now to begin the transformation. What color are you as plasma? Like a reddish brown. Mm -hmm. And what color is soil? Yeah, it could be brown. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you now all to begin the transformation. I'd like for you to bring in the energy of the transformation. 
and begin now to release from her energy field and begin to go deep into the earth into Gaia's womb. Being There's accepted. There's more room. Mm -hmm. There's more room. Very good. How does that feel? I think we're going to be happier. Thank you very much. May the light of the universe always accompany you so that you can continue evolving. Thanks. And now, Natalie, completely disconnect from anything that may be left around your body. And I'd like for Archangel Raphael to come in and bring in that green healing energy. Feel it taking over your entire body, soothing it like nice cool ointment. Releasing any energy that may be left over. And as we do that, let's take a look at the body again and see if there's anything in the joints holding her back and her ligaments. I think they're trying to hide. Mm. <laughs> they're trying to hide. Mm -hmm. I see a few. They're like little, little tiny spot aches, mm -hmm. like little tiny round caviar eggs. So what I'd like for you to do is bring in energy through the crown of your head. Bring in that source energy and let's begin to fill that body with strong energy and I'd like for you to use that white light to spot them all and zap them. Zap them all back to the light. Dissolve them. They're tricky little suckers. They move. Mm -hmm. Keep zapping them. Make that light bigger and brighter. Don't give them any spaces to hide in. Every single muscle, every single ligament, every cell, mm -hmm. blast it with white light. And I'd like to ask Natalie's guide if there's any other light she can use to complete the transformation. She's a rainbow, but yeah. she's she can alternate per her choosing right. emerald green. Very good. Fuchsia pink. Mm -hmm. White and gold. Beautiful. So keep alternating those colors until they are all gone. It's like a roto rooter mm -hmm. colors. Beautiful. She may have to do that a few more times. Mm -hmm. Very good. So each time she listens to this recording, I'd like for her to remember to do this so that she can continue to work on that. Mm -hmm. Very good. And now let's take a look at the ringing in her ears. What is that all about? A lot of frequencies out there. Mm -hmm. She just hears this, the frequency. Mm -hmm. She thought it was her ear infections. Mm -hmm. A chronic ear infection for over a decade. She might have kicked it, but she started kicking it and the pitches transferred to the other ear high. Mm -hmm. So. What is she picking up? This antenna? It's an antenna. She's asked for it to be quieter or gentler because it's really painful sometimes. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So let's put something in that ear for her to tweak. Something like a volume control. <sighs> like for you to see a dial inside of that ear where you can turn it up or down. 
So I'd like for you now to begin to practice by bringing that ringing down, turning the knob to a lower frequency, turning the volume down. It's getting louder. Mm. <laughs> so she may be turning it in the wrong direction. Mm. Turn it in a different direction. This is her own device. She needs to learn how to drive it. Go ahead and play with it now. Puffs. Mm. I'm going to use pink puffs. Very good. Very good. How is that working? It relaxes it. Very good. Very good. Takes quite a few good mm -hmm. pink puffs. Mm -hmm. Good. And as you're puffing on her ears, she has a question about what's the difference between imagination and a memory. <laughs> is there a difference? Imagination is creativity. Mm hmm and the creativity comes from the mass, the mass memory. Mm -hmm. Is she connecting with the mass memory? We all do. Mm -hmm. She just... <sighs> She gets confused which one she's in. Mm -hmm. So her imagination and creativity, she can get lost in it and forget time or even where she's at. Mm -hmm. But it's pulling from the collective. It pulls from the collective. Their memory becomes another's imagination and creativity. Mm -hmm. So it's just like tapping into a database of memories? Yeah, it's like sharing. Mm -hmm. Good. And she has shared her life with her cat, Shadow, for many years. What is the purpose for Shadow being in her life? He was seeking. Mm -hmm. He's working flipping hard on her. Mm -hmm. What does he do for her? Mm. She makes her, her moment stand still when he's able to make contact. Mm -hmm. So how can she effectively communicate with him to where they have more contact? I think he needs more groom time. Okay. More groom time. Just scared that it might not be enough for him. He, if he could, he'd be in a baby swaddle attached to her like a monkey. Mm -hmm. He's trying to talk so hard. He gets frustrated. She gets frustrated. At least he's a good boy. <laughs> And he gets mad, he flips and he storms off straight to the scratch post. You know exactly mm -hmm. where he is. Mm -hmm. Good. Any other information you'd like to give her about Shadow? I feel like he's, this past birthday, he's starting to speed up with his aging. Is there anything she could do to assist? He 
needs more physical contact to help slow it down. Very good. Now she had many questions about her dreams. What do you have to tell her about her dreams that are so vivid? Does she go to these places? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we've slowed it down. Mm -hmm. Cause sometimes she just can't sleep. She doesn't even sleep anymore, really. Mm -hmm. So what would you like to tell her about her dream state? doesn't need to remember all of it. Mm -hmm. She remember being shot that time. She walked in on that one. So, Is this her astral body traveling? On yeah, she did. She walked in for this young man. Mm -hmm. Wrong place, wrong time. She took a bullet for him and it was okay. She watched him drop, but he didn't have the trauma, so she was fine. Mm -hmm. So what is it that she does in her sleep? Does she have... A job? Does she do something? She doesn't remember all her job ones. Mm. Sometimes she slips where she shouldn't. And because she she's curious. Mm -hmm. So can she do something before she sleeps to help her? So she doesn't go in places she shouldn't go to. They're not bad places. She picks up info, problem, and she gets more questions. Mm -hmm. When she gets that info, she's bouncing timelines. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else that I didn't ask that you would like to tell Natalie right now? She needs to be more diligent about writing her dreams, too. Mm -hmm. She's really good about the really vivid smack in your face ones. Mm -hmm. But she's gotten a little better. There is one that she could not decipher, so she just wrote the symbols and the feelings, and that's enough. That's enough. Just write down symbols and feelings. If you can't decipher the crazy flow, and it, she's a little ADD. Mm -hmm in that area. Mm -hmm. Anything else you would like to tell her today? Or are we complete? She doesn't need... She knows this. She doesn't need to have an answer for everything. And she knows it. She's so curious. Mm -hmm. And now that she has visited some of these lifetimes, how is that going to help her in this life now? I think it'll give her a clearer focus and understanding to a lot of her whys and how comes. Mm -hmm. That linger. It's like she knows. She knows things. She knows. She knows things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she tells people she knows things, and she ends up being right like her house. Mm -hmm. She told people that's my house, and it was on auction. And people said, "Oh, don't get your hopes up." And I go, "You don't understand. That's my house." She just ran across it, but Betty was calling to her, so she went. Mm -hmm. But she also knows she's been better about it. She can abuse it when she wants something, when she does, shouldn't really have it. She's getting better. Any advice about that? Discernment. Mm -hmm. What she was learning as a priestess. Yeah, and again, she knows this. She knows. She's just very stubborn with herself, as always. She is a stubborn one. Mm -hmm. Anything else that you would like to tell her? Or are we complete for today? I think we're good. Very good. Thank you so much.
conscious, mm -hmm. feeling wonderful mm -hmm. all over. I feel like a hot mess. <laughs> Welcome oh, back. I'm frying. Mm. It's a lot of energy you put through yeah, there. I feel like I've just been frying. Mm. <sighs> What do you remember? Roly poly. Roly poly. <laughs> I remember roly poly. Anything else? Um, I think I remember all of it. Mm -hmm. I think I do. How long do you think this was? Oh, I haven't a clue. I'm thinking maybe an hour and 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. We're on two hours and four minutes right now. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm a little closer than some people. <laughs> Wow. We did a lot of traveling today. Yeah, you know, I found it interesting every time you had me like walk down steps uh -huh. or go deeper. I was always in water. I kept going into mm -hmm. water deeper and deeper and deeper in water. I always go in water. Well, that I must noticed. be your place. It must be. And I have no water signs, I don't think. That's okay. But yeah. That's no the place where you thing. go. Wow. Yeah, I do. I always go in water. So how do your body feel? Um, Besides being hot. No, it feels good. It feels, feels relaxed. Good. My neck is definitely far more relaxed now. Mm -hmm. But yeah, when, when we started the belly, that's when I really started heating up. When I started the belly. The, a lot of energy. Yeah. Yeah. And then it started gurgling. I'm like, wow, I feel it and I, and I hear it. Isn't that wild? Yeah. So I was like going, okay. So, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, that was a trip. The plasma thing was weird. Yeah. Because it it's like, where the flip did that come from? Well, it decided to go back into the earth. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. So I noticed I kept mentioning Ruth. Ruth is my tree in my front yard. <laughs> I've been trying to make her feel better. Mm -hmm. So, okay. I think I know some more stuff I need to do to help her. So is this something you want to share? Are you um, you if you feel like there's something that can benefit, um, I mean, I don't know how extraordinary it was. I know I cried a couple times. We're here. We're here. We're, here. We're, here. We're in Miami now, and Natalie, you came all the way to California from from all the way to over here to, uh -huh. to do this. And how do you feel now? I, I feel like I've I've finished a chapter. Mm, interesting. Yeah, I do. I I feel <laughs> well. The thing was is I told you that I found you like a year ago, and I just no, I knew. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna see her in here, <laughs> and I've seen you twice now <laughs> within a year. Well, so, you, yeah. you saw me at uh, at the Foster event, City, the yeah. Foster City event. So right. Well, how was this different to to a group meditation, a group uh, regression? Uh, the difference from the group is that I'm having more one-on-one -on -one direction and guidance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and, and it's interesting because sometimes you'll be guiding yeah. and I'm already going one place. It's like going down the steps. It's like, oh, well, I'm going down into water in these steps. So this is just going to happen, you know? Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's things like that. And um, I, I was surprised to see the gnome back. He he always pops up. He's like your your buddy. He it, maybe he's one of my guides too. Could be. Because whenever I've done like group, you see thing, the, you he see comes notes. around. Yeah. So he's like your playmate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a happy little fella. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, did you did you start connecting some dots during this thing about? Yeah, yeah, I did because. Um, it, yeah, because that first time with the shaman, and then of course mm -hmm. I've got the wise woman and then the priestess has come to me twice now mm -hmm. so yeah i got a pattern you got a lot of information from the priestess did i mm -hmm. i don't remember all of it well about this well, okay yeah you'll, you'll see it okay the, the thing about um doing regressions like this is that the more you do them the more mm -hmm. you'll be able to connect dots okay? right right and um you know you, you you don't need to be like doing this all the time but mm -hmm. you start to see patterns mm-hmm in your own life and you'll be able to see right. where you got this from and and yeah. do you see where some of this 
stuff came from? Definitely the wise woman. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. When mm -hmm. I see the way my house is right now. It's the same thing. And it, it kind of is, yeah. <laughs> I have like an old 1930s stucco little home with yeah. the curved things. Everything's done up and I've got herb books and the whole front yard's going to be herbs because we got deer, you know, and it's like, well, they won't eat sage. So, you know, yeah. things like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. So yeah. did you feel hypnotized? I, 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 well, what does it, it feel like? It feels like I'm just incredibly relaxed mm -hmm. and you're just guiding me. That's what it feels like. You're I feel, awake? Yeah, I feel like it can pop out if I want, but it's like, no, let's just kind of see where this goes. And I have to say that at least half of what I went through, mm -hmm. I didn't visually see. You just knew it. Yeah, I knew it. I could feel and know it. Yes. It's like I didn't even know about the gremlin thingies mm -hmm. until right after. I'm like, holy cow, he's like right here. Yeah. Like, Really right here. And how does your shoulder feel now? A lot better. Yeah. I think he might have been affecting all through here, to be wow. honest with you, because I've really had issues there. Uh -huh. But um Because a lot of people yeah. ask, you know, what does it feel like? Mm -hmm. And some people would come to me and say, I can't visualize anything. How am I gonna be hypnotized? And you're saying right now, you didn't need to visualize, you just knew. Oh, Right, yeah, because it started off, I mean, I can see the colors and the mist, and then all of a sudden I got this pop of the, the little, like, really luminescent pearl, and then I'm like, wait a minute, he's got little, oh, he's a roly-poly, you know, type thing, you know, and then all this other stuff, yeah. and that one planet, when it scorched, that was just yeah. sad, and I didn't know any real reason for it, I just knew, holy cow, I see it coming, I go down in the ground, wait it out, come up, eh, I'm out. Because there's nothing there, you know. And a roly poly is an insect. By yes. <laughs> just, just so that you know, for, for those of you who are in different countries, a roly poly is a little insect that rolls up into a little ball. It's kind of like a little right. centipede. Kind of, thing. kind of, yeah, but they're like oval. They're like a little oval thing. Yeah, and they have and a, they, a lot of legs, and then they just right, kind of but like, a hard little shell, yes. and yes. and compared to the size of the gnome. I was like that big for the, I was like the size of a soccer ball to the gnome. Right. It's, that's how I envisioned it. Yeah. That's yes. kind of how Good. that was. So would you and recommend this experience to someone else? I would and definitely um, be open to wherever it takes you because yes, I did bring quite a few, you know, questions, but as I, you know, told Al, but hey, if, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, yeah. because there I were, don't know what's going to happen. There were many that we did not address because mm -hmm. they were just about your dreams and mm -hmm. and uh, basically right. we were told you know don't right oh that dinosaur lizard was a trip mm -hmm. i was like what is this <laughs> interesting huh it was and now that i'm out i wanted to say it while i was in but i i can vividly see it I want to say it was like a spacecraft going over that. That's what I figured it was. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I did. I wanted to get a little bit deeper, but uh, I, yeah, I, but I knew it was because I can see also oh, right. while I'm doing this. Oh, right. I can, I can imagine it. It was like, and I just know what things are too, mm -hmm. right? Uh, which is why I lead people into different directions because I'm already getting that information. But mm -hmm. when you're visualizing, I'm seeing it in my mind's eye too, and I'm sure a lot right. of people do the same thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't yeah. see why not. It was just, I think when you asked me if I recognized it, it's like me here can say, yeah, I recognized it, but I was a lizard at the time. Right. And you the lizard was like, you don't I don't know how that is. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> you know, so I was like, I'm leaving it alone, but I feel like, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Because yeah. when I left that body, when I died, mm -hmm. I saw a lot of them. Ah, see? So I was like going... Oh, Interesting. okay. So yeah, I don't know if Good. they did a little blow up or what. I don't know. It felt a little strange. Yeah. It, yeah. yeah. So if you would like a session with me, go to my website, mm -hmm. albawyman.com. Go to the hypnosis tab and there you will mm -hmm. see sign up for your for my newsletter. Mm -hmm. Sign up. And yes. Once a month, you get a newsletter. It'll tell you where I'm having sessions. Right now mm -hmm. we are in Miami, but I did mm -hmm. travel all around. And uh, you were telling me that, you know, you didn't even think you were going to get the session. Right. So I do want to share with people what she says is absolutely true. If you're ready, you will come in. I tried twice before really hard, but the system kept crashing. Couldn't get an appointment. Then it just popped up. Oh, she had an event. Okay. I'm meant to go to that. And then out of the blue, this popped up and I'm like, oh, for giggles, I'll give it a try. And boom, I had all these options and here and I am. Here. Yep. So I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. 
and uh, keep watching. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>